like Indian cricket, that for a long time disappointed more often than it created heroes. Till, of course, the Ganguly era came and then it was furthered up by the Virat era. Hindi films still go through mediocre quality and it is so, so visible when you get to watching a sports biopic. Starting from Bad Milka, Saina, Mary Com, you name it. You have a very predictable template storytelling. The protagonist, obviously you know I'm talking about Sabash Mittal. The protagonist takes to the sport accidentally. The coach sees, foresees this brilliance in the person, goads the person, talks to the family, entices them, and then gets the child on through a very rigorous spell, sometimes playing a tough task master, master almost a slave trader. And then the emotional turmoils of rejection, fear of competition, systemic opposition, system red tape, what have you, and then the crown. This happens in all the stories of our biopics. They're so linear. Why would Sujit plan another? Why would he invest on telling the story differently? Because our filmmakers love to repeat formulae, even when the formulae fail. And so, unlike 83, this film on cricket is a damn scrip. And why not? It's screaming to be rejected by the audience. Firstly, while Mitali has achieved amazingly, her life does not talk about the kind of challenges that make for a good film script. It's almost a linear walk up. The film starts on a beautiful note. There is this young girl, Kasturi Jagnam, who plays young Nuri. Amazing. She really endears you to watching, sitting and watching the film. She's the one who goads Mithali into cricket when she has Vijay Raz as her coach who pushes her to the next level. And then it's a typical story of her training, the family. There is also, because it's been in cricket, the parallel tale of gender crisis, how uh, Men cricket gets much bigger space than women cricket. I have a problem here. If women cricket is not as popular as men cricket, it's not a philosophy. It's just that men cricket is more popular than women cricket. I have a problem with people who say, we spend a lot of time, money, and energy on cricket and not on other sport. That's because it's more popular. More people take to it, more people like it. Now, you're not going to say, I'm going to polish what you will like. Therefore, Women's cricket will have to earn its space, and it is doing very well today, and it has come a long way. We could probably put a part of this at the doorstep of Mitali Raj, no doubts about that. But this kind, there is of course, the suggestive uh, gender discrimination at her own house, when her grandma prefers her brother Mithun, less talented, to become an ambitious cricketer, he fails. She succeeds. These asides apart, I don't think the tale carries dramatic moments, except her playing the cover drive, playing the square drive, being rejected from a scene. How Sukhmani Man Marhava, played by Shilpi Marhava, rejects her. There's a fight with her. How initially 
the team refuses to take this young player and how the youngest becomes the captain. They're all very, they're all available on Google. You just have to put the sentences together. You don't have to make a film. But that's what Sajit decides to do. And Sajit gives you a bad film. He gives you a template stricken film. Nothing great about it. Nothing new about it. Nothing that is not known in public domain is brought out. Except, of course, maybe that many of us didn't know that Mitali had dance in her body and she bartered cricket for dance. That apart, nothing much to talk about in the film. Yes, it is a biopic and therefore uh, she has a wonderful role, Tapsi, and Tapsi is an actress who's not going to muck up with what she's given. And that's exactly what she does. She does not muck up with what she's given. The shots where she plays her cricket is obviously a product of training. At an emotive level, the film has a very few scenes and she musters enough to do them. Nothing to push the envelope, either in the life of Mitali or on the capacity of Tapsi Pani. In short, the film seems to have got a cold shoulder and not without cause at the box office. Will somebody who's making another film on a sports personality move away from these templates and tell us a slightly different manner of the same story? Look forward, maybe Anushka in her next film will offer that to us. But till then, a resigned audience lives on hope. On that, on that note, and with acknowledgments to Abhinav and Datu, sign off hoping your comments will come in. Thank you.